Brisbane are dolphins in their natural habitat, a few kilometers off Sri Lanka's Kalpitya coast. They help fishermen locate a catch. But recently, dozens of these small acrobats of the oceans suffocated to death in a banned net. Neil, a traditional fisherman, says those responsible didn't care. They didn't even try to rescue the dolphins. They just wanted to catch tuna and recover their nets. This amateur video shows the incident. The lila net, an encircling net, is used to haul in thousands of fish. For years, traditional fishermen have used dolphins to find high-value tuna. More recently, dolphin watching has put this sleepy coastal town on the tourism map, providing locals with a good income. They say tough action is needed to protect this valuable resource. The Minister of Fisheries, Dr. Rajita Senaratna, has been leading the crackdown against illegal fishing. We will catch anybody, whether who and who is immaterial, our main concern is to uh, completely ban all these items and to actually implement it to the world. But it's not just the fishing industry that is concerned. There's a way for this place to become sort of an eco-friendly um, tourism spot, then I think that is very valuable in the long run. Ramani Korea built one of the first hotels in the area. For our future generation to enjoy this, we have to do something right now. The potential to make big money fast makes illegal fishing an attractive option. But protecting the dolphins and other marine life will bring greater rewards in the long term. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Kalpitya, Northwest Sri Lanka.